Hi everyone, I'm gonna make a traditional pie that my mom makes usually either with chicken or with pork. This is my grandma's recipe from my dad's side. She used to be a great cook and this is one of the recipes that my mom made for us many many times and it's delicious. First of all, I have here pork that I had already minced and saute with bell peppers, onions, tomatoes and its own juices. First we're gonna do the filling and we're gonna add some vegetables. We're gonna add um, two cups of potatoes, a cup and a half of carrots, uh, green beans, capers, olives, and eventually we're gonna add about half of this broth and a cup of cooking wine. You can also use white wine if you don't have any wine. So right now we saute the meat and warm it up and we add the potatoes and the carrots. I'm gonna add half cup of the broth. In this case, I'm gonna add the whole thing because it's a lot. You sprayed me. Sorry. <laughs> you got me. We're gonna cook the potatoes and the carrots with this, with this broth. So we're gonna let it boil for a while. At this point it's a good time to add salt and pepper to taste. To salt the potatoes and the meat and the onion. This is a lot of food so we're gonna probably be able to make like two pies here. Also add um, bay leaf. That's gonna give it a good flavor too. You need to cover it, but this pot doesn't have a lid, so I'm gonna create my own lid and I wanna make sure that uh, it boils and the steam doesn't go out, so I'm gonna put aluminum foil on it. Ding! See, you can create it. <laughs> so now just let it sit there until it boils. I'm gonna put the timer for about 10 minutes just to make sure it boils good, and I'm gonna check the potatoes and the carrots. Once they're done, I'm gonna start adding the other ingredients. Now for the dough, we're gonna need the following ingredients. Two cups of flour, one cup of sugar, two bars of butter, a teaspoon of baking powder, and one egg. In the meantime, the filling is cooking. We're gonna start with the dough. We're gonna add the two bars of butter. Then we're gonna add two cups of flour. This is one cup usually two cups because you make the, the bottom of the dough and the top. And then one cup of sugar. This is half and the other half. Yeah, it's kind of like a sweet dough. I'm gonna put a little bit less just to not make it so sweet. And then you add a teaspoon of baking powder and an egg. So you just combine all ingredients. Make sure you prick the hook for the dough and slowly so the flour doesn't fly everywhere <laughs> like it just did before so you can see how if you're very patient the butter is going to start becoming little pieces and with this hook what i love that if you just leave it long enough it's almost gonna need the whole dough for you now see how it's becoming like a ball now you yeah, now you turn it off and we're gonna start kneading it by hand. Okay, I'm gonna start kneading the dough. First, I put flour on this nice plastic thing that's gonna help me knead the dough. It's okay because everything has flour, so it's gonna start go going through the butter anyway. So one thing is to kind of start flattening it yourself with your fingers. That way you can flip it over easier. As much as you can with your fingers. And then flip it over and try to put more flour underneath. And then you can start using the roll. Make it a perfect circle. So I try to go as far as the circle of this um, silicone mold that's going to help me to. You can just pull it over here. And ta da! And I just help it go down and then I go 
cut the edges. So you keep doing that until you finish. That smells good. Mm -hmm. I want some. Yeah, you can have some. I'm gonna make. Um, should I make mm. another another dough? I'm gonna add the green beans. The green beans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, the red wine. I'm gonna give it, or the cooking wine. The olives, capers, and I like to put some of the juice of the capers. Now we're all gonna mix it together to make this juicy concoction. Is it good, Bubbles? Is it good? Is it good? Okay, now we're gonna put some of uh, the filling for the pie. I try to remove the juices as much as possible because it's gonna be very juicy anyway. So with this filling, I can probably make like about two or three pies maybe. Gonna add some of the juices. Not too much so it doesn't get all soggy. Now we're gonna add the top. We're gonna use a fork to start giving the shape. Chicken pot pie, now we're gonna put it inside the oven. Mmm, delish. All done, beautiful pie. Cheese. <laughs> now we're gonna cut a piece of the pie. I'm gonna make sure you go all the way to the bottom. I let it cool down for about 10 to 15 minutes, that way the juice is settled and it's not so juicy. Hopefully it has settled enough. Still good. It's falling apart, but still good looking. It's so good. Mm. Mm. Dang. 